What's happening guys? Welcome to today's video and in today's video we are talking about WHOOP. WHOOP is an activity tracker, a fitness tracker, and a data aggregator for your personal self-quantifying needs and that is what we're going to look at today. Let's get at it. So I've been using WHOOP now for about six months. I got it at the end of August of 2019. I don't like to do reviews on these types of things after only using it for a week. So I've been using it intensely for that six months and I am extremely pleased. So I wanna break down exactly what WHOOP is, how to use it, and some pros and cons to the device. So WHOOP is an activity tracker. This is not like a Fitbit. This is not something that just counts your steps um, as you go. This is something that looks at biometric data such as your heart rate variability, your resting heart rate, um, your heart rate during activities, whatever those activities happen, happen to be, and your recovery. And it gives you a score. Um, when you first get WHOOP for the first few days, you don't get a lot of information because what the device is doing is baselining you. It's giving you a baseline of what to expect. So if I recover a certain way and then I have a day that's off in the future, um, then it knows that that's either a good off or a bad off. You know, if I'm way below, then it knows to give me a better or worse recovery score. So for that first little while, you're not gonna get a ton of data. Over time, that data gets better. Over time, your baseline becomes apparent and uh, the machine is always learning. So it's going to adjust as you get fitter. Um, those workouts aren't gonna strain you quite the same. So it's a very good thing. Other thing it does is it tracks your sleep and the phases of your sleep. That is really important. In the phases of the sleep, you're gonna see things like deep sleep, REM sleep, your total time, your sleep, lag and all of that. When you wake up every morning, you get a chance through the journal to explain kind of what happened in your day. Did you drink? Did you eat a certain type of diet? Did you sleep in your normal bed? Did you share your bed? These different things will all affect your sleep and over time, as you put in those data points, you'll be able to come up with the best evening routine right before bed to have a great night's sleep and the best routine throughout the day to have uh, the strain you're looking to get and the recovery on the other end as well. So Whoop also has an app. Besides the strap, it communicates with an app on your iPhone. I believe it's on Android as well. Use iPhone. And the app is fantastic. I really do like the app a lot. So it starts with the overview and then you have a myriad of data, you have myriad data that sprinkled throughout. So you have things like your recovery, you have your daily strain, you have um, a look at both of those things. You can take a look at your heart rate variability. You can compare your strain with your recovery for that day. And you can go into each workout and have a look at how you performed for that particular training session. So you can see where the peaks and valleys were in your exertion through your heart rate. And then you can compare like workouts over time. So if I do a specific workout and then three months later repeat that workout, I should be getting fitter and I can see how I've, how I've done that through the app. This is great. This is a great app that they have built for the phone that communicates uh, with the strap. So let me tell you about some pros and some cons. So pros, I like the data that Whoop provides. Heart rate variability is huge. That's something um, that is a metric that you can use to signal, to take a look at your overall health. It's a metric that you can use to look at recovery, which this one does. And it can also be used to, as, as it reacts to foods, it can be used to find out if you have a sensitivity to that particular food. Um, I also love the strain score. I love the recovery score. And I really like the, um, the way the app is designed. So this is a, it's a really well designed piece of equipment. It's charged, but you leave it on while you charge it. You just slip the charger right over the top and it's gonna charge for you. It lasts, for me it lasts about four days. They say five days, I'm in the four day range, but I have had it for six months. Um, but it does charge very quickly um, and uh, the charger is unobtrusive. It's just a little bit over 
what the, the strap itself is. I also like um, the fact that I can use it in multiple different workouts and it's gonna, the, the app will start on its own. I don't need to tell it, hey, I'm gonna start working out. I start working out and it's going to notice there's been a change in my baseline and it will count that as an activity. So um, I can jump in the pool, it is waterproof, I can swim while I'm doing my thing. Um, I can just jump in the pool and go and it will track that for me. Some of the cons for, of this, so I don't, wanna, I don't want this to be like it's just a completely rosy thing. There are some things that I'm not a fan of. It's difficult to wear when you're doing martial arts training. Um, so if you are into Muay Thai, MMA, or, or Jiu Jitsu, it's going to be a little bit tougher to track that. They do make other uh, bands. They have like they have an arm band that you can kind of put over your elbow or in your biceps area, and then move the unit to that. But the reality is, anytime you're doing martial arts or contact type sports, especially if it's a grappling based sport like judo or wrestling or Jiu Jitsu, any type of wearable is going to get in the way, and there's just there's no way around that. You know, you take everything off when you train those things. You take off bracelets, you take off necklaces. Anything like that is gonna get in the way. You simply wear the uniform that is necessary to get the job done. So that part, you know, there's nothing you can do. A wearable is going to be in the way in some, to some degree, no matter what. We can't do anything about that. It is what I, I feel is the least obtrusive of the wearables because the strap is super flexible um, and the, the armbands are kind of neoprene and or I'm not sure what they're made out of but you know they fit um, very tight and they're not like a hard thing like a Fitbit or something like that the, the strap being kind of hard or an Apple watch um, is probably not ideal as well with the touch screen so as far as wearables go it's great but the reality is still a wearable. The other con to this, one of the features I would like to see is a real-time heart rate variability measurement. That doesn't exist at the moment. I mentioned before that when you're eating something, you can use heart rate variability to, dis to help discern if you have a, a sensitivity to that particular food. And what you would need for that is a real-time heart rate variability feedback mechanism. So as I'm eating, I would have it going and I would track my heart rate variability before and then during and then after and that would give me an idea if this is something that my system is sensitive to, if it causes an inflammatory response, um, things of that nature. So those are kind of two cons. I, I would like to see the real-time heart rate variability and I would also, you know, there's just no way around it that a wearable of any type is a little bit, uh, 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 it's going to interfere in certain types of activities. Overall, I highly recommend the Whoop strap. Um, I highly recommend Whoop 3.0. I can't wait for the next one that comes out. I think this is a great piece of equipment. If you're into quantified self, if you're into tracking data other than just writing out workouts, this is the way to do it. I am convinced this is gonna be something that's really gonna revolutionize this type of technology going forward. Lots of sports teams, you, you see this on um, NBA players, you see it on NFL players, you see it on um, all sorts of different uh, players and you probably just never noticed it. I've seen WWE wrestlers wearing it. Um, so there is, uh, there's a lot to be learned here and as we all kind of coalesce and, and congregate this data together, we're going to get a lot of information that we didn't have before which is, is really pretty cool. So this gets my not, this gets my absolute recommendation. I'd love for you to check it out. I'm not affiliated with Whoop. There's no financial incentive uh, in this for me other than I just really dig it. And um, if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link below. And I really think uh, I think you're going to dig it too. All right, thank you so very much for watching today. Um, if you are looking forward to more of this type of stuff, let me know. There's a like button and a subscribe button, I'm told, somewhere down there. And uh, you should click those two buttons. That would be pretty dope. I'd appreciate it very much. Um, until next time, thank you, and I will see you later.